We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next. Welcome back to the Daily Helpline. Actress Tatiana Ali is our special guest today, and we're joined by our next guest, Virginia, who is tired of her mooching relatives. So welcome, Virginia. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Hi. so mooching relatives. Now yes. this I want to hear about. Um, well, my the reason why I'm here today is I want to figure out how do I stand up to my family and without being burdened and having them pretty much mooch off of me and, you know, where I can stand up to them, where I can, you know, pursue what I want in life without them hmm. guilt tripping me. How much are they mooching now? Let's, let's get real about it. <laughs> a lot, a yeah. lot. Yeah, and it's very, very stressful for me. And Tell us specifically. So, I mean, I'm, paint the picture. Like, are they just mm -hmm. calling you every so often asking for 20 bucks, or are they sleeping on the couch? What are we doing? Um, they're actually living with me. Um, I have two family members living with me, and I'm the one, you know, paying for everything. I pay for rent, utilities, bills, they everything. They don't work. Um, one of my family members does work, so it's mm. not... It's not them supporting me. You or... guys get in here. Please. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes yeah. are just like really big. Um, how, I guess, when did, like, how long has it been going on and how did, when did um, they move in? It's, it's even way before they even moved in. I've just, since I'm the baby, but, you know, I have, you know, two older siblings and I'm supposed to be looking up to them, but they're all looking up to me. Mm. So I'm usually, I'm mainly like the foundation, so I'm, I have all of this, you know, burden on me and stress and where I have to make sure everyone is okay, everybody's happy, but in turn, I'm not receiving anything that I'm giving out. It's hard. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. What are you feeling right now? That I'm not proud of myself. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Like, people see me like the cheerful person, like I'm always happy, but inside I'm not. So what does inside look like? Very depressed and sad. Are you dealing with major depression now? Yeah, yeah. it's still there. Before it was really, really bad, mm -hmm. um, but now it's, I've got it under control, but it's still there. Mm. And I don't know how to, get rid of it. Tell us what hurts the most. That my family, I'm sorry, no, that my okay. family, um, that they're not there for me that as much as I am the, there for them. Like I'll drop everything what I'm doing to be there for them. But when I need something, they're like, oh, well, they make up excuses like, oh, well, we can't, you know, we can't help you. Um, you know, we have things to do. We're busy. Just things like that. It's just every time I need help, I'm not receiving it. So I feel like if my own family can't do that for me, how can someone else do it for me? Because mm -hmm. your family is supposed to be the ones that are the ones you're supposed to look up to or, you know, they give you confidence, but that's not what I'm getting. How did you get into this position? With my family members, it's, they mainly depend on me because I'm usually the one that's, I appear as a strong one and you know, I don't show any emotions. I'm always the one that has to be strong for them, but I'm getting tired of it. Okay. And it's not about them because we can, mm -hmm. we can work on them the moment we help you get to where you need to go. So how did you get into this situation? I think it's because of how I am. I've told them that um, I'm always going to be here. You can always look up to me. I want to make sure you guys are cared for, because I've always been that type of person where I want to help every single person. Okay. And I want to make sure that they're taken care of and they're happy when I know that can be bad on me too. So she gave you gave them permission to do this. I get it. We're going to bookmark this because we want to hear more. Yeah. We're going to continue our conversation with Virginia. We'll be right back with the Daily Helpline. Coming up, and I am really sorry for the pain that I have caused you.
We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next.